Today we're here with Dr. Ankar Gatte and Dr. Keith Lockage of the Ayn Rand Institute to discuss the upcoming Earth Day celebration. Dr. Lockage, April 22nd will mark the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. What is the meaning of Earth Day? Well, I mean, Earth Day, you know, the original Earth Day in 1970, it was sort of the debutante ball, you know, the coming out party for environmentalism as a movement. It was sort of the first time that it really sort of burst onto the American cultural scene as a prominent phenomenon. Um, and since then, you know, it's taken a sort of an annual celebration of environmentalism and a way to, to you know, gather people together and garner support for environmentalism and its goals. You know, so you can't really, so the real question is what is environmentalism? You know, what is environmentalism as a movement? Now, uh, you know, obviously environmentalism is a, you know, very broad social and political movement um, that's represented by, you know, a wide array of groups and institutions and perspectives and leaders and so on. Um, but it's also an intellectual movement. So it's a movement that, um, you know, has a, is, is guided by a fundamental philosophy, by a set of ideas that uh, basically shape its, its ultimate direction and sort of guide its actions and so on. And in that respect, it's similar to, you know, other intellectual movements, you know, communism, Christianity, even objectivism. Um, you know, these are movements that they're, they're, they have cultural and political goals, but they have a, an intellectual essence that defines, you know, what kinds of causes they pursue, what values they're, they're after. Um, so what is, what is the essence of environmentalism? Well, obviously, um, you know, it, basically to understand what environmentalism is, you have to understand its view of the relationship between man and the environment. And I think most people are, um, you know, have a mistaken view of, of what environmentalism's view is on that issue. They see environmentalism as you know, sort of a benevolent movement whose goal is to you know, protect the environment, but to do so you know, for the sake of human values, for the sake of human benefits, so we can enjoy nature and so on. Um, but you know, I think if you, uh, if you look at situations where um, human values come into conflict with so-called environmental goals, what you find is that environmentalists, um, what they typically end up doing is siding with protecting nature, not for the sake of human values, but against any kinds of values that people might want to pursue. So if we want to build a dam to generate electricity, well, if that's going to destroy the habitat of you know, the furbish lousewort, you know, they're going to fight against the dam. Or if we want to you know, build a housing development so that people can have homes to live in, you know, if that's going to develop, you know, some undeveloped territory, they're going to fight against the housing development. Um, so, you know, looking at environmentalism as an ideology, <clears throat> I think you see that it actually, in many ways, um, you know, I think people need to challenge the, the perspective that they have about this movement and think about, you know, what its goals really are, whether it really is something that, that supports human values or the opposite. Mm -hmm. So it's wrong to view Earth Day as a celebration, even by the people who say we're going to celebrate Earth Day. Um, and for a basic reason, what do they do on Earth Day? They do things like turning off the lights, stop using uh, your car or bike to work and things like that. The whole purpose of this day is to make people feel guilty. Um, and in that way, it's environmentalism, it's akin to a religion, it's to say, you're pursuing the wrong goals in life. You should not be concerned with uh, your welfare, with profit, with industrial civilization. All these things wreck havoc. I mean, this is their view. that wrecks havoc on the earth. Earth Day is a reminder that, look, we're screwing up the world, and we should stop doing what we're doing. So it's not a celebration. It's an, it, it, the whole purpose is you should feel guilty for the 364 days when you're not doing this kind of thing, when you're turning on the lights, when you're driving to work. And from my perspective, that is completely perverse. It should be exactly the opposite. One should value industrial civilization, 
Thomas Edison and bringing light to the world is one of the greatest things that ever happened in human history. To celebrate turning off lights is to, is to celebrate, in the end, is to celebrate all the destruction of things that bring value to human life. And it's, it, it is an example of what we mean when we say environmentalism does not actually value human life. It's a pretense when they say what we really want is human welfare. The Earth Day as a symbol is a celebration of eliminating the things that bring value to human life.